guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing another DIY fashion video. Now this one's actually in feedback to one I did last year which I'll link down below because a few of you have been trying out my uh, ideas on how to cut up your t-shirts and from the feedback I thought I would do it again just to go through a few of the issues identified so that we can prevent any unnecessary t-shirts getting cut up that are then failed projects basically. So I've got three to um, show you guys today and we're going to try the same process on all three of them to see kind of what things work well and what things work less well. So there are a few different styles, designs, colours, fabric, I've tried to go for a range. So I really hope this video is helpful and I will link down below previous ones if you want even more ideas, but um, let's get to it. So first up we have the blue one. Now this is what it looks like on, so you can see it's quite a lot longer than a normal t-shirt on me, so it does come past my but then it does have an elasticated base so we'll need to cut that off so the first thing you're going to want to do is lay your t-shirt out onto something that you're comfortable cutting on and then you're just going to need a pair of scissors that are sharp enough to cut through fabric that is that is completely it for this diy so first things first for my uh, t-shirt here i'm just gonna cut this elastic off just like that so what you want is just a normal kind of t-shirt with nothing extra going on at the base and now the first thing you're going to do is take the centre at the front and you just want to cut through the front of the t-shirt and just slice down just one long cut all the way to the bottom. So I will just do that. And it doesn't have to be completely perfect because you do tie this around yourself so the uneven edges kind of hide themselves which is a really nice thing about this style of DIY. So you should have like almost like a cardigan effect just on the top layer like that. Now what you're going to want to do is flip your t-shirt over and just along the back you're going to want to cut up the seams here. So the seams down the side of your t-shirt you want to cut not all the way up, you want to cut probably about two and a half inches from the armpit because this is going to be the crop top at the back. So however long you want it to sit at the back on you, you kind of want to cut. So I just kind of rough it, but cut to the right hand side of the seam, just so it doesn't undo on you. So I'm just going to cut up like this. And I'm going to stop about there. So the armpit is there and I've cut to here. So you can see that it's about three, two and a half, three inches. But you can play around on a few tops to kind of find your ideal length of crop top. And now I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Now you want to join up your two slits. So you want to cut that panel off the back. So just cut completely across. You can do this more accurately if you would prefer, or like I do and just kind of rough it. So you just want to cut all the way along like that and then this fabric here you no longer need so you can either use this to make yourself some scrunchies or other things or just get rid of it that's no longer required and that is your DIY ready to try on so if you have a tag like I do just cut that out so it doesn't cause any issues when you're trying it on so when you put this on you're gonna basically wrap it around yourself like that and you'll have a very cute little tie top this is how it looks like on and as you can see i haven't crisscrossed it i've actually just tied it in the front which still makes a really cute crop top and if you're happy with this then fabulous but i'll show you now there's not actually enough fabric i'd say to comfortably be able to wrap it around and that's on me and i do have you know a smaller waist so this was a long top so you can see here the two bits there and they do touch at the back but it's just not enough to kind of tie in a comfortable knot or bow in my opinion so I'm going to come up with an idea on how you can extend these if you want that wrap around style otherwise just tie it in the center there like I had at the start and it makes a really cute top but to extend it you're going to need that piece of fabric that you cut from the back of the top and I'm going to show you now how still with no sewing we can extend these to still make that really cute crisscross. First things first, you're going to want to lay out that piece of fabric and you're going to want to cut along the longest side. So on mine it's going to be this side here. So I'm just going to cut it literally roughly in half. Just like this. 
And then what you want to do is actually tie these two panels here to the two on your top. So if we take mine here, we're gonna tie one to the end of this strand. So it's almost like an extender. So you wanna try and use as little as possible of the fabric whilst also making sure it's secure because it doesn't need a lot of extension. It just needs a slight one. So just pull that nice and tight. And you can always tidy these up. So this is it on having extended it. Now it's so cute. I love how it kind of accentuates the lace here, like with the crisscross. I did go for a size 12 in this top, so it is quite gapy on the armpits on me, but I think that can be really cute in the summer if you wear like a nice bralette under it. But the front is exactly kind of what I envisioned. It's got that lovely crisscross effect and extending it, it doesn't look terrible. So it does, mean there's a bit more going on at the back so you've got some more knots and things but if you tidy them up and you know you can like tidy the edges or like cut the edges and stick them down a little bit I think it'll look really nice so don't fret if you've cut up a t-shirt in this kind of way and they're not long enough to go around your waist because you can just tie them in the front like the first style or extend them and then you know yes you have one more knot but it means you have that effect and it's a really cute crop top like this with you know nice high-waisted shorts in the summer I just think it's so cute and it's so much cuter than the top was originally so I would say this one has been a success the next top I chose looks like this so you can see this one's a bit more baggy everywhere so there's more fabric to work with it's a beautiful color and that's why I went for it and it's more of just a simple kind of tank top now this one is quite stretchy so you're gonna to want to lay it out again and we're gonna do the exact same process we did with the first top so just lay it out flat and you want to kind of find the center point on the front and just slice all the way down you should have something like this now just on the front then you're gonna to want to flip it over and cut either side up the seams and again you want to just turn that back into a crop top so halfway down the top or however short you want it just cut across you should have something left that looks like this so what you want to do is keep that scrap fabric because it might come in useful to extend the straps like the first way we showed but I'm also going to try this one on and see if it's just stretchy enough which actually I don't think it will be um, but I'll show you an alternative method if you don't want to have the knots you can incorporate things like ribbon or elastic to actually make the back of it look a bit neater or a little bit different, um, but still get that crisscross effect at the front. So this is what this one looks on. And actually this one did have enough fabric, so I didn't think it would, but because it's a lot stretchier, it just went round and I could tie it quite comfortably. So this isn't too tight. So it does just completely depend on your fabric type. However, I'm not sure I like the front of this one as much as the blue one because it is just like tank top straps. So I thought I'd show you another way you can kind of jazz it up and make it kind of a bit different of a crop top. So you can see here that the raw edges I've just kind of folded under. You can either tuck them into your bra or bikini or you can actually finish them off if they're looking a little bit lumpy. Um, but now you wanna take from your off cut, just take a tiny piece of fabric, literally this sort of size. And I just thought that this style of top would look really cute with like the straps kind of pinched. So I'm just going to do this like that. So you can see there how it kind of completely changes the style of the top and it just gives it a new kind of dimension and just a different style. And it's so easy to do. And if you don't have any off cuts, say you've extended the top, just a little elastic or just a stitch will hold really. You just want to tie a double knot around it like this. So let me just do this side. I just kind of tuck the straps in so you can see it now just draws it in there and it just gives a kind of completely different neckline so they look it's the exact same process on all these tops but you cannot guarantee how it's going to look because every fabric type every shape of top looks completely different but honestly I love them all so this one I think I'll wear a lot you can see it's gorgeous from the back and then the front now just has has its own kind of style so pinching the straps like this, I think is a really cute way of kind of altering the straps a little bit. So no, I love this one. So the final top I'm gonna do this to is this lovely kind of stripey one. So as you can see, it's quite a loose fit all over. Now the key thing about this top 
is it's not got any stretch to it. Now, having done the first two tops, I think without the stretch, this isn't going to fit around my waist, but you can do the first option where you just tie it in the front. So I'll show you how that looks. And then we can try and figure out a way of making this into a crisscross top without it being stretchy using the materials we've got. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to cut down the front and then do the same thing that we've been doing to the back to kind of get those two straps. So let's do that now. You should have something like this left over. So this one, I just need to clean up the seams a little bit. And you wanna cut out any of those labels that are sticking out just to ensure you've got a tidy thing to work with. So I'm gonna throw this one on and see how little these go around me. And then we can go from there. So you wanna keep the off cut handy. So miraculously, even with no stretch to the fabric, this one's one of the easiest fits. So it just goes to show it's complete trial and error. So I don't even need to extend this one. I think it looks great from the front. The straps were adjustable. Um, from the back it fits and it just ties. It doesn't have a lot of excess, but it has like just the right amount to kind of be able to tie it without having to suffocate myself. So I think the key thing is, is just try it on, you know, pieces that you're able to kind of play around with. So if it's not got enough fabric to go around you, extend it either using a ribbon or excess material, and maybe the ones you least expect will go around you. So I absolutely love this one. I think the stripes just work really, really nicely. So I just need to tuck in the corners there. And I just think it looks like it was made to be like this, like compared to how it looked on me before, I think this is a result. Like this in the summer with just like denim shorts, like how cute is that? I love it. So that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed today's kind of upcycle. It was really good fun. And I've got to say, it is just trial and error with this design. You know, some of the ones that you expect to work don't, and some of the ones that you least expect to work come out like this. And so it's just really fun to kind of try on, you know, old clothes or clothes you've got from charity shops or thrift stores, you know, just have fun with it. And if it doesn't fit you, you know, there are ways you can extend it with ribbons or excess fabric. So, you know, don't fret, just find alternative ways to kind of make it your own because you can jazz up the straps you can jazz up the front you can change the back you know you are creating a piece you know for yourself to wear so I really really love this one I think it's such a cute design for summer they're so easy to wear and even if you only get one successful one they are fabulous and they're saved from you know just going into a landfill or the trash if you're not going to wear them as they are you might as well try and make them into something you'll wear. So I absolutely love this one. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, hopefully I'll see you next week, but thank you so much for watching. I will link all my social media down below if you'd like to follow me on there. But yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.